Okay, in this video, let's talk about zero over zero and limit range sum here for you guys. This right here is my claim, all right? So I will tell you guys that zero over zero cannot be equal to k for non-zero k. In another word, if you ever want to define zero over zero, then I think the only answer should be zero because otherwise this kind of things will happen. Check this out. Right here, I'll go ahead and write down proof PF for proof. And of course, we'll do this by contradict with a C right here, Shen, right? And of course, we're going to assume that for the opposite, right? So here we have 0 over 0. Let's say put this down as k, and then I'm going to put down for k not equal to 0, right? And now let's see what will happen. Right here, I'll put down note. Well, notice 0 times 1 is equal to 0, good. And 0 times, what's your favorite number? 16, okay. So 16, this is also equal to 0. As you can see, they are both equal to 0, so we know what? Of course, they have to be equal to each other. So 0 times 1 has to be the same as 0 times 16. And because we have 0 over 0, we can of course put this over 0. Likewise, this 0 over 0 by our assumption is equal to k. So we have k times 1 on the left hand side. And on the right hand side, we have k times 16. And now because k is not equal to 0, so of course we can divide both sides by k. So we get 1 is equal to 16. Oh my goodness, look at that. Of course, we know. 1 is not equal to 16. I wish it is. But anyway though, this is how we end up with the contradiction. So in my opinion, I will write this down right here for you guys. 0 over 0 should be defined as 0 if you ever want to define it. But if you don't want to define it, just undefined. That's it. And by the way, we are not talking about limits. So please do not comment anything about limits, okay? This is just the operation 0 over 0. And let me know what you guys think about this, right? Pretty good, huh?